Hey everybody, this is NCSO7 here. Welcome to another hardware review. So, ugh, just yesterday, well technically two days ago for you guys when this comes out, uh, I finally got myself a PlayStation 3 Slim. And the way I got that was I went to 7 Mile Fair, which is this place that sells a bunch of stuff. There's like a couple of video game stands and one of them buys video game systems. So I sold my Xbox One in exchange for this PlayStation 3. So yeah, I don't have an Xbox One anymore. There's no point in even having it. So I have a PlayStation 3 now. So anyways, getting into the actual thing, looking at the front of this thing, well, the top technically, uh, PlayStation 3, and we've also got the eject button, power button, and the PlayStation logo with the disc tray. And then turning it over to the front, over here we've got all the stuff it supports, Blu-ray, DVD, HDMI, all that. Over here is Sony, and two USB ports. Uh, also some uh, lights to show, I guess, if the system's connected to the internet and stuff. Also just... Precaution, the system is very heavy, so, uh, yeah. Probably not as heavy as the original, but still. Nothing really on the sides. Yeah, not much on the sides. So, let's turn it over to the back. Uh, we got the, uh, AC adapter. Then this is for the AV. That's for, I assume, Ethernet. Oh my god. Then HDMI, and then something else. Maybe that's the Ethernet, I don't know. And the serial number. And some vents as well. Oh. Then on the back, we got PlayStation 3 again, and some more info. That's pretty much it for the PlayStation 3, like, Slim itself. So, now moving it over to the controller. Which, oh boy. So this is the PlayStation 3 uh, uh, DualShock 3 6-axis controller, as stated there. Uh, this controller is very tiny. It's got, like, all the normal stuff. It feels very good, but it's so tiny. Like, just for size comparison, um, actually, I'll move the PlayStation 3 out of sh the shot to the side. There's the PlayStation 3 controller. And then, here's the PlayStation 4 controller, which is a slight size bigger. And then, here's the PlayStation 5 controller. Like, seriously. The controllers get so big, like, you go from PlayStation 5, which is, like, so big, but then you go to PlayStation 3, and it's, like, so tiny. But the controller is still comfortable enough to use. It is wireless and supports, I think, some motion controls in it. But yeah, nice controller though, feels really good. Basically just the PlayStation 2 controller again, this time wireless and I believe some motion control stuff in there. Now, uh, to showing one of the games. So I've got Persona 4 Arena. I actually got this for 30 bucks, which is actually pretty good. Uh, for the price in an actually pretty good condition. This is what PS3 games typically look like, although, uh, like you got some stuff on the back. However, uh, on the spine, uh, that design isn't always there, and I actually do have an example with me. As the other PS3 game I got is was GTA 4. And if you compare the two, obviously the later designs had the PlayStation 3 thing at the top, Whereas the older ones had it on the side. And the original, like, uh, spine has the PlayStation 3 look like that. Doesn't look as good, but everything else is still pretty much the way it is. Then opening this up, you got the game and you've got the manual right here. Which is actually surprisingly thick for a... Well, it's like... Dang, 65 pages. All this jazz. Haven't played much of Persona 4 Arena yet. I will eventually do a review on the game. 
and Ultimax, but I haven't played that much of this yet. I've mostly played GTA 4. That's mostly what I've played. But yeah. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for this hardware review. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit a like button. And let me know if you guys have a PlayStation 3 and what some of your favorite games are for the system. And if you have any recommendations for me. So, with that being said, this is NCSO7 signing out. Peace.